Hey there, sickos! This is Jay the Six Sand, and this is day two of the Hello Greedo 15 day Star Wars Han Solo challenge. Um, and like I said, or did I say it? If I haven't said it already, I'm saying it now. This movie is going to drop on May 25th, and I hope. And, I, and I'm looking forward to checking it out. If I can't make it to the theater, I'm at least going to try to get check it out when it hits Blu-ray. Um, but I really want to see this movie so bad, and I, and I, re and I would recommend it anyway, because it's Han Solo. It's Han Solo. Anything with Han Solo in the title ought to be good. Anyway, on to the second challenge. And my favorite, and let's see, my favorite Ron Howard movie. And yes, I am stoked as fuck that Ron Howard is going to make the, is going to be helming this project. Because Ron Howard, Ron Howard is a guy that can get things done and he could do it right. He's one of the, be, he's one of the, cla he's one of the classic old school writers. He's, I mean, this guy this guy churns out Hollywood gold, so I am glad they got him on board with this project. I am so glad. I mean, that, that's what Star Wars needs to do. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, they got him on board for episode... No, I think that's J.J. Abrams, but they need to get him on board for future projects too, damn it. They need to get him on board for episode 9. They need to, get, they need to have him collaborate with John Favreau on the new series. Which I, you know, which any anybody that's been on the internet buzz with Star Wars lately knows what's knows what's going on. Um, but let's get let's get down to it. Um, let's see my favorite Ron Howard movie, and there's a couple of them. Um, I'm I'm trying to remember all the ones I have, but I'll, I'll at least come up with one honorable mention. I mean, there's just you know. It's very hard to pick, so I might even just say my two favorites, but if I can do that. But um, let's see, uh, my number one favorite. But I think I'll just say it like this: my number one favorite movie from Ron Howard is Willow, and it uh, and it was co-produced with George Lucas. Uh, it was, uh, and and of course, it's a Lucasfilm movie. Um, I don't know if it, I don't know who's seen it, but I'll just uh, break I'll just break down the summary for you real quick. It's about it's about a young it's about a young dwarf, or I don't know about I don't know how young, but in their years, but you know, but it's about it's about a dwarf farmer who finds a baby that turns out to be a you know that turns out to be part of a prophecy. And so he's tasked with keeping her safe and bringing her to this faraway kingdom, you know, where she'll be protected. Um, anybody who's seen this movie knows what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go see the movie. Or not, don't go see the movie because it's not theaters anymore. I mean, has it been for 30 years? It came out 30 years ago, in fact. I mean, it's got Warwick Davis, who we, who we, who Star Wars fans like me knows has been in many of them. Knows him as Wicket, the Ewok. Knows him as uh, one of the spectators of the pod race. Uh, know, knows him as in the Harry Potter's the government. We we know we know who Warwick Davis is. Most a lot of us do. Uh, but he but in Star Wars he's best known as Wicket. And I think he's going to be somebody else in Star Wars, if I remember right. I'll have to look it up. I mean, the information's out there. so And that's not important right now anyway. But anyway, Willow's got Warwick Davis. It's got Val Kilmer. It's got, you know, it's, it's got Billy, the late, great Billy Barty, who was a big fan, who, who knew Ron Howard when he was growing up. Um, so, you know. So it's a very fun movie. It's very it's very fun. I recommend I recommend giving it at least three views. 
just to digest it, if nothing else. But at the very at the bare minimum is one view. Please go, please find this movie. And um, you know, it, it came out in 1988. It should be on Blu-ray. It's called Willow. Find it, but you know, hell, if you feel like if you feel like buying it, buy it. At least rent it from a red box if you can, or 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 find it on or find you know or find it on Netflix if it's on Netflix. But I recommend seeing this movie. It's one of the best movies that Ron Howard ever made, in my opinion. Um, and so that takes care of that movie. You know, takes care of that movie. Oh, oh, oh yeah, and I want to say I did, I I did see that one in theaters thirty years ago when I was just a kid. You know, so. Um. Now, my. Honorable mention slash runner up slash second favorite Ron Howard film is Backdraft. If you if you like firefighter movies, Backdraft is your film. I I mean it's one of the best move it's one it was one of the best movies that ever came out in its time. I mean it's got Kurt Russell, Adam Baldwin, or is it what I can't remember which ball it's one of the Baldwins. Hey, don't give me any shit. I'm an old. I'm getting to be an old man. My memory is starting to go. So, zip it. Um. So, but yeah, but I. But it's got Kurt Russell. It's got you know one of the Baldwin brothers in it. It's got, you know, and it's basically you know, and to summarize, it's basically about a, you know, uh. Legacy, you know, a family legacy of firefighters. I mean, about two brothers whose dad was a firefighter, and they're firefighters themselves. And your, you know, Chicago Fire Department. Uh, in, you know, and, uh, and of course, you know, they go fight fire, but you know, but after, you know, but it's also about, you know, but it, but they're also trying to track down this arsonist, and you know, because there's a bunch of fires out there that are. Needlessly killing off their got their you know their fellow firefighters. It's a really good, powerful drama. I mean, and I recommend renting that one too, giving that a view. Um, so let's see. I think with that one, I think. Uh, I think with that one, I need, um, that's about it. I can't think of it anymore. Can't think of anything else to say about either of those two movies. But yeah, um, check them out. And I will see you for day three of this challenge. May the force be with you, sickos. Bonsai!